my pretties. Hello my besties, how are you? Welcome to my DIY channel. I'm very excited because I found at the Dollar Tree Halloween trees today. Look at that. You know what we make over here with the Dollar Tree trees, right? <laughs> Beautiful swag wreaths for the door. So I'm very excited to make a Halloween wreath for you. I hope you like it. And you can use that method, of course, for any holiday throughout the whole year. So when you see these, stock up, okay? <laughs> If you like this video, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel because that way we're going to be besties. Make sure you press that notification bell so YouTube will let you know when I'm back here with a new video, okay? Thanks so much. Let's get started. We are going to tie two Dollar Tree trees with a few zip ties and we are going to get a great and expensive base for our wreath. You open up one tree branches to the left, another tree branches to the right and connect them in the middle. We've done the swags before out of the white and green trees, but this is the first time I'm seeing orange and black. Very exciting. Fluff up the branches and you have a beautiful teardrop swag for just two dollars. To fill your swag, you are going to need a 10 inch wide deco mesh, and this one I found at a Dollar Tree. Normally, this costs about five, six dollars at your craft store. So this was an amazing find. Unfortunately, my store had only two rolls left. For some Halloween colors, I'll be using this deco mesh. This one is six inches wide, also a dollar a piece. It will coordinate perfectly with this adorable witch sign that I found at a Dollar Tree. I think it's the cutest witch sign they ever had. If you prefer a more scary witch, they also have this one. We also gonna need some color coordinating ribbon and I'm so excited that they even have witch's hats print. All right, let's cut our mesh. You know, I like to use my cardboard, which is 10 by 10. I'm folding it over and cutting 10 by 20 long pieces. We only need eight pieces, which is about half a roll. And now we are going to make craffles. Many besties are familiar with this method, but let me just show you. You roll up one end of mesh about three times, clip it, turn it around, roll up the other end two, three times, and then you are going to walk your fingers across, pinch it all together. And just like that, you got a craffle. We are going to attach it on the side of the swag, just like so. Just twist tight the pine branches. Let's make another one. You curl up one end, pinch it, turn it around, curl up the other end, walk your fingers across, pinch it in the middle and attach your craffle. And we are going to continue the same steps all around the swag. You're going to have three on each side and one at the top and one at the bottom. All right, so you can see how we increase the size of our base. And now I want to add some color with that snowball mesh that I got from the Dollar Tree. We're going to cut it in 10 inch long pieces. You use the same cardboard measurement, only you're gonna cut on both sides. Cut all your three rolls and we are going to make petals, same like we made for the flower wreath. Remember that one? You're simply going to fold in the opposite corners and then walk your fingers across and pinch. You have a cute little petal like that. And you're going to clip it, and we are going to do two more with the other two colors. Fold in the corners like this, walk your fingers across and pinch. You see that? Clip it together. And let's make the black one now.
Okay, and we are going to pinch all of these together and attach them to our swag by twisting two pine branches together, just like we did with the cruffles. And you can find the spots in between the cruffles for these, right? We are going to repeat the same steps all around the swag. You can see how much color and texture it added all around the swag. I didn't worry so much about the center because I know I'll be putting my sign there. So I'm just fluffing this up and making room for my witch in the middle. One wire through the hole in the hat and two over there on the sides where her arms are. I'm attaching it through the mesh and to the pine branches. It's a young witch, so she's doing splits over here. I'm spreading her legs to the sides, attaching with some hot glue, and then I'm trimming her skirt. It's a bit too long. <laughs> How do you like it? <laughs> are you enjoying this video? I hope you are. Please give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Thanks so much. And now we are going to make a quick little bestie bow. You have three pieces of ribbon here, 24 inches long. We are going to measure six inch loops, pinch them, hold with your thumb, just like this. Pinch and hold, pinch and hold. And now all you have to do is grab a pipe cleaner or a floral wire and twist tie it a few times. Fluff up your loops, fluff up your tails, and you got a beautiful bestie bow, easy like that. <laughs> it's my subscriber's favorite, but if you've never done a bow before and you're still a little bit hesitant, you wanna check out this video. I'll give you a step-by-step -step detailed instructions. You can't go wrong here. We are going to attach the bow over here on the side of her head. And just tie your pipe cleaner around a couple pine branches. So how do you like it? Pretty simple, right? You can give me those ribbon or witch emojis if you have them. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm looking at this. I think I want one more bestie bow. What do you think on the opposite end? Let's quickly make one more. At first I try attaching the bow on the side, but it cover up one of the legs. You know, I want the splits to be visible. <laughs> so I moved that bow all the way to the bottom. I think I might have placed my witch a little bit too low. When you attach yours, just pull her up a little bit more, okay? You're gonna have more room for that second bestie bow. But anyway, I tie a hanger in the back and now she's ready to hang out. <laughs> And then I cut some ribbon tails uh, for six, but I wind up using eight pieces, 12 inches long, and I just mix and match them and tie around the swag. You simply fold them in half, pinch in the middle, just like so, make like a V shape, and attach these with some of these pine branches, you know, just here and there for some color.
And if it happens that you don't have the pine branches to attach your ribbon tails to, you simply use a pipe cleaner and find a spot to attach it somewhere there. Fluff up your ribbons and your wreath is nice and colorful. If you like, you can add some more decor. For example, every witch needs a broom and I'm gonna show you how to quickly make a cute one. You're gonna use the glittery branches from the Dollar Tree, some floral tape or actually any tape, and a little bit of ribbon. First, you cut your glittery branches in half and then you attach these smaller pieces, uh, bunch them up together and a tie with the floral tape. And then you can cover it up with a cute ribbon, add a small bow. You can also round up the top of your broomstick and make it a little bit more whimsical. And you got a cute little witch's broom. <laughs> Did you like that? <laughs> oh my gosh, we have similar <laughs> laugh. Anyway, let's see where we could attach it. Over here. Yeah, I think I like that. Or let me just check the other side. It seems like it's more uh, room on this side, so I'm going to place it here. Unfortunately, I can't display that cute little handle. By the way, I have other witch reefs on my channel. Feel free to check them out. I'll place the links in the description box below. This step is optional. If you like to add some florals, uh, Dollar Tree has so many cute options, or those cute little pumpkins or spiders, you know, feel free to go wild if you want. This is a fun witch and it's Halloween, so that's what I'm gonna do, you know? But. Not everyone likes so much detail, so this is completely up to you. Do what makes you happy, okay? Care to be our, er, I mean join us for dinner. My pets and I are very hungry. <laughs> So this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. That way we will be in touch. And please share your pictures with me. If I inspire you uh, to make a wreath, please post it on my private group, My DIY Besties on Facebook. I will provide the links in the description box below, okay? <laughs> Thanks so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.